Hello everyone and happy Monday. Today we're gonna take a look at this Puma Travel Trailer Toy Hauler. This is the 25 TFC. What's really awesome about these is you still have the garage space like a regular fifth wheel toy hauler, but you have less uh, towing weight that you have to worry about because of it being a uh, travel trailer toy hauler. Um, so anyways, the weight is looking at 6,137 pounds with a overall length of 29 feet, nine inches. Um, so here on the outside, you have your power tongue jack, very large propane tanks, of course a spot for your battery, uh, diamond plating at the bottom of your front cap to just help protect it. It's also a nice smooth front cap with your aluminum siding. So it has a bunch of different textures on there. And then coming over to our camping side, you have uh, some pass-through storage. Uh, so you do have access to it from the other side, but it's pretty wide too. Um, a little bit wider than your normal pass-through storage. Front and rear power stabilizing jacks, as well as an LP quick connect. You also have a power awning to relax underneath with a white LED light strip. Solid steps, steps leading up into your camper, so those are nice and sturdy. And then moving along, you also have power that is protected underneath your awning. So you can have uh, a TV set up out here, maybe have a table with uh, any sort of small appliances or even charging your electronics. Another LP Quick Connect. And then I'm going to talk about the garage length once we get in there, but here is your ramp. Uh, so you can have it pulled down into that ramp position to be able to bring your toys in there or have it in a patio position too. Spare tire. And you also are prepped for a rear observation camera if you want one. Moving along, fresh water connection. That is where you dump your tanks. You also have your city water connection over here, outside shower, access to your water heater. And if you may not have noticed, you have zero slide outs on this camper. So now let's take a look at the inside. So coming all the way to the front, we have our master bedroom, queen size bed. To the left, you have your kind of like end table nightstand plus a uh, taller cubby space underneath it. So you can have that for additional storage, uh, put some decorations up there. Also uh, outlets and USB ports. And then at the foot of your bed, you have another end table slash nightstand that you can also use for some more storage. Above is a closet locker. Two additional cabinets uh, spaces are up there, so you can use that for your clothes and whatnots. A couple windows too for some natural light, which is also uh, pretty great. You even have this privacy curtain so you can sleep in while your kids are sleeping. And then coming out here, your sink is separate from your uh, bathroom. So you come out here to wash your hands. Stainless steel sink with a power outlet there on the back. Medicine cabinet, kind of some extra storage running along the uh, right side of it. And there's a open cubby storage right there. And then you have even more space down below. And then tucked away in this corner, I didn't quite see it, is a spot for a TV in your master bedroom if you want one. So now entering the bathroom. So here you have a nice shower tub combo. There is a lot of natural light coming in from that skylight. You also have your vent fan too, but the ceiling is extra tall. Um, so if you are a taller person, you don't have to worry about hitting your head. And then of course you have your toilet with a toilet paper holder, which is pretty nice. And then coming out into the rest of our camper, you have your nice kitchen at space with the updated colors. So uh, the white cabinets, which just looks great. All of the storage is below your sink, stainless steel open mount sink, and it has this half roll up cover. Um, so you can place your dishes here to dry or use it for extra countertop space. Power outlets, you have your small appliances plugged in there. Again, some cabinet storage, stainless steel microwave range hood, three burner stove top, and the sale price comes out to be uh, $32,495. There is your oven, all stainless steel appliances, by the way, as well as your refrigerator. Really awesome. And the garage length is 11 feet. However, you have some additional, and I mean barely additional space over here because it's a little bit shorter because uh, your refrigerator sticks out a little bit more. So over here is 11 feet uh, by 9 16 of an inch. And then over here, you just have 11 feet uh, flat. So a lot of extra space to bring your toys, or you can just use it to entertain and host. You have a couple... Uh, 
sofas slash benches that also convert into sleeping spaces for your kids or guests. So there's a lot of lounging areas. And then of course you have your tie downs all across your uh, garage floor to tie whatever you want down. A spot for a TV. And then here is where you can, uh, can control your outside and inside speakers. And then across from there, you have uh, additional cabinet storage. And since it's open right there, you can have uh, anything that you want also stored up there. And then moving along, uh, here is a roll down bed. So it can be stowed away while you have those toys in or have guests over, your kids are running around playing. But then when you are ready to go to bed, you can use the uh, control button to move it down and have your kids sleep there. And honestly, you probably could have a two, three people, depending on size. They also have a privacy curtain if they want to sleep in. And then lastly is the garage door space. So uh, when it is in its ramp position, you're able to bring the toys up. But if you want it in the patio, you have these cables latched on there. And there's also a uh, fence that you can put up against your uh, patio space so no one is falling off and you really can enjoy that outdoor living space. You also have this ladder too if you wanted to uh, roll it down a little bit and have your kids climb up there for kind of like a bunk loft area. But there you have it, the Puma 25 TFC. If you have any questions or concerns about it, feel free to let us know.